Greetings, friends of our Blessed Lady. This week we reflect on a statue of the Pietà, a replica of Michelangelo's famous work of art. It rests below the large painting of Jesus' agony in the garden. For a discussion of this famous work, consult the script developed by George Whelan. It describes the challenges that the sculptor Michelangelo faced to portray Mary caressing the full body of her adult son. The structure is pyramidical. The top coincides with Mary's head. The statue widens progressively down the drapery of Mary's dress to the base of the pyramid. The solid base suggests the rock of Golgotha. The figures are out of proportion. This was necessary to depict the body of a grown man cradled full length in the lap of a woman. Much of Mary's body is concealed by her elaborate drapery. The relationship of the figures appears quite natural. Unlike other artistic interpretations, Mary was sculpted as a young and beautiful woman rather than as an older mother around 50 years of age. The marks of the crucifixion appear on Jesus' body. They are limited to very small nail marks on the hands and an indication of the wound that pierced Jesus' side. Christ's face does not reveal signs of Jesus' passion. Michelangelo did not want his version of the Pietà to represent death, but rather to show the, quote, religious vision of abandonment and a serene face of the sun, end quote. Thus, the statue represents the communion between us and God by our sanctification through the death and resurrection of Christ. In our prayer, we invoke Mary's intercession to imitate the virtues portrayed by the great artists in their various renditions of the Pietà. We pray, Blessed Mother, please intercede for us with your beloved Son to approach our work and service with the same dedication and love as exhibited by the great artists of the past. Help us by our fidelity to his word to witness to the story of our redemption by Jesus, not only in our words, but especially in our deeds of love. Amen. Our next Shrine Reflection will focus on the stained glass window of the Sacred Heart. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage, and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.